favourite is meatballs in fragrant coconut broth. Having a freezer of home-cooked delicious food ready to go can be a real lifesaver. It means you never have to compromise on flavour. These meatballs are delicious, but more importantly, they freeze so well. First off, get your pan on and start sweating off your onions and your garlic. This recipe involves making the meatballs in a classic way, but the exciting part is actually cook them in coconut milk. And it gives a really nice new dimension to a sort of soft, rich, sumptuous meatball. Chop the onion nice and finely, keeping those slices very close together. Closer the slices, the finer the onion. Pat it back down at an angle, slice down, and just chop. I want the onions nice and fine because I want some finesse to these meatballs. And the secret of a really good meatball is the texture, getting that balance right between the minced beef, the breadcrumbs, the milk, and the seasoning. A couple of cloves of garlic. Slice the garlic really nice and thinly. Nice. Pan, nice and hot, and a tablespoon of olive oil. Quite generous with the olive oil. Onions and garlic in. A touch of salt and pepper. With your mince, open it up a little bit and sort of pat it out. Salt and pepper. For me, a good meatball is all about the, the softness, the texture of that rich beef and the way it sort of melts in your mouth. You can colour it on the outside but you want it nice and soft and sort of rich in the centre. Mix that in beautifully and then paste it back out again. I've got some really nice dried chilli flakes. I'm going to season the onions with the chilli flakes. Chilli flakes in. Cook that out for two minutes. I'm going to add some milk. Take your breadcrumbs, make a little well, three or four tablespoons of milk. That makes a sort of nice, slightly doughy texture, but it lightens the texture of the meatball. Place that in, add your onions, your garlic and your chilli in there as well. Nice. Get your hands in there and start mixing them. If you've got the right amount of milk and breadcrumbs, doesn't mean binding with an egg. Don't make them too small. The problem with making them too small is the fact that they dry out quickly. Just the size of a golf ball. A little bit bigger. Nice. Give them a really nice tight squeeze. That stops it from breaking up. It always pays to double the recipe and spend a bit more time making extra meatballs so you can freeze a batch ready for another time. Give the pan a little wipe out. Don't wash out that pan, we've got that flavour from the onions and the garlic at the bottom. Get that pan nice and hot, a touch of olive oil in there. Place them at the top of your pan. Nice and gently, sit them in the oil. Get a palette knife and go underneath them and just sort of tilt the pan and let the pan cook the back of the meatball. We're going to add some heat. Coriander seeds, slightly spicy, peppery, which will give a really nice flavour to the coconut milk. In. Next, some cardamom seeds. Three or four onto the board. Knife on. In. A little touch of turmeric into the centre of the pan. That's going to give it a really nice spicy flavour. A little pinch of cinnamon. All the time you're doing this, those meatballs are just getting tastier and tastier. A couple of dried chilies, let them infuse in that oil. And then some lemongrass. Just take the back of your knife and sort of beat it down. That starts to release all that lovely sort of fragrance. Like someone's just let off the most amazing fragrant air freshener in with the lemongrass. And finally, some fresh ginger. Just peel and slice nice and thinly. Time now to turn them over and let the other half have a wonderful flavour. Chicken stock. In. Bring the stock up to the boil. Turn the gas up and then add the coconut milk. And I want the coconut milk just sitting underneath the top of the meatball. Coconut milk in. And that sort of gives it that creamy richness, but it's not heavy. 
it's a fragrant, light richness. Before we start simmering, check the seasoning. Mm. That nice, soft texture of the meatball, but that fragrance, light richness of the coconut broth. It's going to cook those meatballs perfectly. Bring the broth up to the boil, then simmer gently for eight to ten minutes. Touch them with your finger. This should be slightly pliable, but slightly springy. Gas off. I'm going to finish it off with something light and fresh. Zest of lime. But I want the zest on top of the meatball. Sort of cut through that richness. And then finally, squeeze the fresh lime. And that just gives it that nice, zesty, amazing taste. Stir in the juice. Mmm. Got that kick and that, that vibrant taste. Now, the exciting part. When you come to serve it, be generous with that coconut broth. Tilt the pan. Get a good couple of ladles of the broth in. Mmm. Meatballs. And that is a very delicious way of eating a old-fashioned meatball and bringing it into the 21st century. And they're just as good cooked from frozen as well.